in all of its wonderful glory. Hockey immortality I'm, is having your name written on is having your name written on the Stanley cap in Sharpie. So I have all these extra spots, nine extra spots to be exact. And hey, so nine nine years I can last with this thing.
performers get cups. The second place gets nothing other than a finalist banner. Better to be bronze than silver. Schwartz with it. He is stopped on the play on a breakaway. Impressive goaltender work. And slams his stick. If the Phils get shut out here, that's going to be a devastating event. Schwartz moves in. Left circle. He scores. And once again, the Rangers take the momentum all the way back once again. So Henrak loses the draw. It's just going to knock Fitz down. Down to one second. And oh. the Avilia cap goes to the Rangers. Four to one. Fitz And a goal Tom Connor by gets Capitals, the goal. who could not look more confident at this point. Tom Connor's first touch of the puck. We hadn't even told you about him. He was essentially the MVP of the Jay Chen. Whoa! Jay. Welcome. Yay. Welcome to the Stanley Cap. Welcome to the Stanley Capitals. Jay Chen. All right, Jay. All right. From Floyd Hall Arena on the campus of Montclair State University, it is the third annual Stab Lee Cap Tournament with Phil Spires, Corey Bavarian. Your That's second, me. Your second year here. How about this? I know. Hopefully the sequel's better than the original. So it's the Devils and the Phils. First of three periods. Again, played many games. Three of them in a round robin yesterday. Now the televised games. The Devils and the Phils going at it here in this Constellation game, a trophy that <laughs> you didn't know existed until you got here. Well, I have to say, the Constellation game sounds kind of spacey. I like it. Here's Berwick, a shot. He scores! Already? Wow! James Berwick with a GoPro on his head goes top shelf, and it's 1-0 it's Pittsburgh. 6-1 to one, two, the Ranger, the two final teams. The Devils were the only win for Pittsburgh. Let's just say they were probably looking forward to this matchup. A shot comes in. Lose puck score. It's Mira. A goal by the Devils. Wow. The captain jumping ahead is Fitz. Break away for the Phils. Two men chasing Fitz. Scores. Oh. -ho! I tell you, they just come down the ice and conquer. Oh, Walters almost made a very Boltsy costly mistake. Down. That's going to be a penalty here on the Phils. So five on three when they touch. Singer at the line. A shot was knocked away, but no possession. Goldstein takes it. Loose puck on the goal. Oh! And they score. Finally! Oh, Lord! A delayed call goal. You and know? it's off the stick of Brian Singer. And that is uh. it. The Devils win the Constellation Cup. And quite more importantly, the Phils lose a heartbreaker. This was really embarrassing for them. So the Constellation Trophy goes to the Devils. The runner-ups a year ago for yeah. the Devils. When the first game did. Got professional jerseys and everything. I know. Schwartz moves it on goal. Loose puck in front. They score. And there we go. It is Schwartz for the eighth time this tournament. One by Clemente and sent back down. Finelli catching up. The captain for the Ranger. Finelli holds. Gave it back. Clemente away from Hester. A shot. Oh. Loose puck. Score. And another goal for the Rangers. Well, my lord. Oh. On Things the are sent to the middle, and Costello moves it on. Sanders and Rapoldo with them three on three. 
Lost the puck oh, in man. the middle. It's just a sea of sticks right now. But Pogel has it again. Fed it out for a shot from McGurr. Lewis puck score! Finally! The captain, Finally. Colonel Sanders. 3-1. to one. Well, there we go. All arena in Little Falls in 12 seconds. Provided no whistles. Two on two scrum. Gray and Miro down to eight, down to seven. Puck loose in front. Cleared away, back down, no icing, and Henrak's gonna touch the Stabley cap. Henrak won it all! Oh my lord! Henrak is the champion! Oh, ho, ho. Can you believe it? This is it? absolutely unprecedented. This is unnatural. This shouldn't be real. This shouldn't be real. This is an. They've done it. The handshake, and there it is. I, and they are. The I can champions. only imagine who's going to get it first from Chris Finelli. There it goes to Henrak, and there is the end of the Stapley Cap Facebook page. There we page. are. That's the end of everything. Henrak touches the Stapley Cap. He'll take a lap of it. He'll take two. Thousands and thousands of dollars lost. A dejected Lord Stapley, I'm sure. He won't show it. He won't tell you. This has to hurt deep down. Adam Osofsky gets his turn. Somewhere down beneath that silly, ridiculous grin of his, Laura Stavley's really hurt. The grin he always has on. Moving in with speed, he's in on a Butner and he scores! There it is, the Flylanders jumping up to the early lead. Who had that one in their books? Picking around behind, penalty time at 35 seconds, laid off the board, Slobotnik kept it in far side. Around in front, Cicerillo, no shot from the goal line, sent one toward the front, it bumbled away from the blue paint. Flylanders all over so far. Slobotnik once again, trickled one in front, they score! Is. With 17 seconds left on the power play, they barely... Just seeing I shot, nothing, nothing but net. Quinn Fable has talked the talk as well, and can't get it to go. Dropped on back for Rossi. Intercepted. Hittinger moves it on. What a read by Hittinger. He moves it on goal and scores. And dumps it. What a shot save off the pad of Giordano. Loose in front again. And he's played around by Kurzitzen. 21 to go. Out of the point for Nazad, heavy shot coming, doesn't go, went wide. Ron Caglio steps to it, clears it out off of his man and Fable, Fable toward the empty race. net. Can't get it away, Nazad goes down with nine seconds to go. Nazad out of the game, cleared down again with five on the clock. There's no icing here, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Unbelievable. Great job by the Canes to just hang on there. And an incredible performance by Ron Giordano again in the Stably Cap Final. Too much patience with the puck. 
<laughs> Excellent. Captain Hook. The guy I got a seat. The guy the seat. I got the seat. Yours. Thank you. Hey, boys. I'm on your list. Yeah. 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 the ice vault in Wayne, New Jersey. It is the fifth sort of annual Stably Cap Tournament. The two final games happening back to back here on the day before Labor Day, a beautiful Sunday night. The Stably Cap Final Pierre Division followed by the Torx Division Championship. Two teams of the four remaining will host the Stably Cap. Get on the ice today. Lily O'Shea from the line fires into the cross corner. There were a lot of good shots here with the staff of the cap, at least this year. Oh, oh there's a go. good one. Alex Kasparowitz. He had the first shot on goal, and now he has the first goal. 20 favorite Flyers goal songs throughout the years. Not your favorite, though. Um, it could be. Kind of depends on how. Oh, we got a goal oh, here. Oh, the rebound is put in. Dave DeVito ties the game. It's 1-1. Yeah, knock the game down to 12 minute periods or something. We got a breakaway here. Here's a chance. He's going backwards. What is Josh Cicerello what is doing? He, doing? he better oh. score this. Wow. Now that's that's something you don't see every day. He just missed. Well, every time Lord Stabley would go to games, people would recognize him. Now another chance in tight. Oh, they score. What a backhand shot. Brian McDonald ties the game just like that. All five years. Rangers got their moment in the sun in the second tournament. And the Wieners get theirs right now. They swarm Lord Stabley. The first man he hugs is Brian McDonald, who was great all night. And in an offensive slugfest, it's the Wieners who come from behind, technically, to win 10 to 6. One Stably Cap Ice Hockey Tournament Championship game. This is the upper division, the Torts division, as defined by Lord Stably, who joins us on the broadcast for the first time ever for an entire game, featuring the Mighty Ds and the Not the Hurricanes. Welcome. Thanks for having me up here, Corey. Uh, he had a really nice backhand goal against me, so I'm going to be giving him a for that one. Are you guys the first team to go 4 0 in Stably Cap history? You might be. Uh, the Stably Capitals, who are led by Ron Giordano. Well, someone wearing Ron Giordano's jersey just scored, and it's 1 0, not the Canes. Played junior hockey over the years, and of course, have now gone to live in the dream, but they're still here. But not the Hurricanes have Stably Cap experience. Yeah, and they're uh, and they're done for their third straight Stably Cap. Oh, here we go. Here's a chance. A number 12 Connor Ang coming in. He scores. That's actually uh, Stephen George. Well, you're right. There are two number 12s on my roster. Oh. Well, Stephen George. Again, how many will you have for next season? Uh, just the black for home. Okay. And the white for the away. Maybe one day. Oh, oh, what a goal. It looks like it deflected on in there. Oh, sorry. Gagliano, I think, had it go off his leg and in. And it's 3 2. It's all jubilation. It always is.
this Labor Day weekend 2022, we're gonna do this one more time. It's gonna be the Phils, the Capitals, the Flylanders, and the Rager going at it. One more time. We're coming back. One more time. One more time. One more time. Can't wait to see you guys there, and thanks for being a part of this.